the miners here huddled together. Anyone else getting deja vu? Well, the situation here is pretty similar to when you first arrived. It's just that instead of a few thugs and broken robots, now we're dealing with much more formidable adversaries. Hey, check it out! Isn't that Topaz's little trotter over there? Oh, what was it again? Numbi, right? <sighs> what? Isn't that thing a fragmentum monster? She's keeping one as a pet? Uh, the IPC are all about their sci-fi sorcery, so it's not that <laughs> surprising. <laughs> Wanna go take a look? You two are getting along. <laughs> What's Numbi saying? Wasn't this your specialty? <laughs> some... I don't know. I imagine Numbi having like some kind of song and I don't know, Scotty's or something. <laughs> wow, that's so deep. Oh, come on, stop fooling around. Look, you guys. Looks like it wants to leave. Oh, looks like they want to find their master. Let's follow them. Why not kidnap Nambi and use it as a bargaining chip? Help! Those people dressed in black are attacking us! Hey, I'm talking to you. Where do you guys store the Geo Marrow? I really don't know anything. This place is filled with nothing but incompetence. <sighs> Those cowards. I guess they want to do this the hard way. Next time. <laughs> You took the bait. Time for a buzz. <laughs> this combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. Uh, that hurts. Uh. <laughs> Stand down. Trust me. Blade of moonlight. All will be revealed in lunar flame. Time for a buzz. <laughs> In a good mood. Uh, but aren't they on the IPC side? Strange. <laughs> Look, that big guy down there. Is he the one in charge? Hmm. We'll see who's really in charge. Let's go. Huh? Where'd Numbi go? Wow. For something so short and stubby, they're surprisingly nimble. Well, I guess oh, that's that. We're on our own now. Let's keep going. Hey, you! Are you in charge around here? The IPC is currently conducting acid evaluation work here. Local residents are advised to follow those responsible for evacuation to the... 
Don't lie to us. You seized the mine by force for yourself. You drove the locals out of their homes. I'm warning you. Get lost or suffer the consequences. Don't you dare show your face around here again! Ah, and who might you be? You have quite the attitude. This is our jurisdiction now. We are all powerful here. Not for long. Yeah, we demand to speak with Topaz. You know Topaz? Interesting. It doesn't matter. The Strategic Investment Department has no obligation to talk to anyone not related to this project. In cases where debtors fail to repay within a set time frame, the IPC reserves the right to skip negotiations and take over all assets. We're simply following the rules. What exactly is your problem? You know, it's funny how the rules always seem to work in your favor, don't you think? This world's been hanging by a thread, and now you're here to pull the plug on it! <laughs> Don't blame me. I'm simply following orders. Do you think I get to make those kinds of decisions? <laughs> Save your breath, March. I never held out any hope of resolving this problem peacefully. Didn't you claim the IPC was all-powerful? <laughs> well, now's the perfect chance to show us what you can do. Uh, if I knew things were gonna get this heated, I'd have applied for overtime. <laughs> anyway, since you seem intent on settling this matter with violence, prepare yourself for my heavy labor, Janet! Don't get careless. Lance ablaze! Lance, forward! Okay, she can spam. Time for a buzz. <laughs> I'm okay. This combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> This time, time for a fun. <laughs> time for a shot. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. Lance ablaze. Lance forward. Light fodder. <laughs> Time for a buzz. <laughs> this combat needs optimizing. <laughs> this is double speed. I'm on guard. <laughs> no. More enemies. Time for a buzz. <laughs> okay. Naughty child. <laughs> All will be revealed. In the lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Can I 
have fun this time. Time for a buzz. <laughs> time for a shot. <laughs> Good as new. <laughs> just, just a little something. Think nothing of it. This combat needs optimized. <laughs> this is double speed. <laughs> you took the bait. Time for a plan. <laughs> okay. Lance at the ready. <laughs> All will be revealed in the lunar flame. Blade of moonlight. Did you really think you could stop us? Ah, darn it. I'm all out of ammo. Sir, we've just received word from the director. Uh, director Topaz? What did she say? Teams are not to disrupt the lives of local inhabitants during the asset evaluation period. Teams that violate this directive will have their year-end bonuses reduced by 60%! 60%? Sixty percent? Sixty percent? We're done for! Oh, come on! Uh, attention all personnel! Evacuate the mine immediately! Erase all traces of your presence! <sighs> so, are we all good here, or what? <sighs> yeah. Judging by the looks on their faces, I don't think they'll be back. So, who is this Topaz anyway? She seems to have no problem ordering these idiots around. Or taming Fragmentum creatures, for that matter. Uh, it's a long story. No kidding, he's already an hour in. Debt? What do you mean? A long debt. You should probably ask Branya to explain it to you. Why did this mess have to happen so close to the festivities? The timing couldn't have been any worse. Oh, looks like we've got a message. Oh boy, what could happen? Huh, I get the feeling Branya's worried about something. We'd better go back and see her. Are you coming with us, Dila? Go on without me. I still have stuff to take care of. The miners need to know what happened here. Branya messaged you, which means she thinks you can help. I trust her judgment. Got it, Zila. We'll do what we can to help Branya out. Come on, to Klipoth Fort! <laughs> oh boy. Don't look like this. By order of the Supreme Guardian, proceed no further. 
Miss Topaz. <sighs> Bellabog might be in arrears, but I'm out of pocket. Oh, no. See you later, Captain. Eva. How are we supposed to get her for her? Welcome back. I appreciate your help more than I can express. It couldn't have been easy running all over the city. <laughs> That's what friends are for, Branya. You don't sound like yourself. Is something wrong? Uh, I'm fine. I just... I haven't rested in a while. There's just too much happening all at once. They're moving quickly. Bellabog is crawling with their agents. All they talk about is asset evaluation. The silver lining is that apart from the mine incident you mentioned, there haven't been any major conflicts in other areas. I suppose Topaz must have issued an order against harassing the citizenry. Still, it hasn't stopped panic from building. People are confused. They don't know where these strangers in black came from, nor what their intentions are. Did you manage to get in touch with Topaz again? We're curious to know what solution she has in mind. Giant so much. I asked for you to come here. I need your advice. Look. Uh, it's the contract Tope has sent to me a little while ago. There's a handwritten letter attached. Please take a look at the contents and then tell me your thoughts. Miss Branya. If you'll permit me to call you that. I'd like to share a story with you from my own life. Oh, come on. Now you're gonna give us her story to live on down the evenness. Like, I'm not gonna try so much. Let's see what's her story in this to be gotcha. In your eyes, the IPC may seem heartless or cruel. But in reality, we all have a story to tell. As for myself, I was born on a small, unremarkable planet at the edge of the galaxy. A place whose name is known only to the native inhabitants. My home planet was extremely resource poor. To survive, people worked laboriously, manufacturing products for other civilizations in the galaxy mostly in chemical or heavy industries. Given these circumstances, the natural environment of my home planet became increasingly harsh. I don't recall the exact moment when it happened, but people started wearing respirators just to walk down the street. All you could hear were the wheezing coughs of the people, day and night. My home was facing its demise. The relatively wealthy chose interstellar migration and started anew. The majority who stayed could only struggle on amidst sewage, acid rain, and dust, waiting for the end. Finally, one fateful day, the IPC arrived on my home planet. They had the technology to repair our planet's damaged environment. In return for their help, they asked for just one thing that all inhabitants sign a contract which would make them employees of the IPC two years after signing the contract the dark clouds and haze disappeared and people began to take off their masks after three years vegetation and trees began to grow and thrive again after five years many animals previously on the brink of extinction reappeared when I was finally old enough, I officially became a member of the Strategic Investment Department. I witnessed the changes that took place on my home world, 
and was determined to bring the same changes to many other worlds in the galaxy that were experiencing the same plight. Yeah, but I imagine that later on we're gonna learn for all that nice thing that happened to her planet, another one has to pay. The equilibrium, you know, the alchemy thing with a killer, a killer, a change. I am writing to you, Miss Branya, with the genuine desire to express something important. I know freedom is precious to people, but in reality, there are things of much greater value, such as survival. How many generations of Belabogians will it take to embrace the stars again without assistance? Who can guarantee that every future guardian will be as prudent and enlightened as you? How can you guarantee that a disaster such as the Stellaron Crisis will not descend upon Belabog yet again? I have already negotiated the best possible deal for you. Once you sign this contract, all of Belabog's debts will be forgiven. In addition, the IPC will set up a special team to support the reconstruction of Urillo 6. Why is it I can understand that for you, this is an extremely difficult decision because you and you alone will bear the fate of all Belabogians. But because of this, I believe that you will make the right decision. A decision that will truly benefit your people. Her words do sound quite sincere. What do you make of it? I agree. But it struck me as an honest letter. I found the contents quite moving. It's hard to imagine she'd write something like this just to deceive me. In any case, she wasn't wrong when she said this would be an extremely difficult decision. This planet's fate, the civilization it carries, everything that's happened here and everything that will happen, it all rests in my hands. This definitely can't and shouldn't be a decision made by me alone. That thought has crossed my mind, and it comforts me to hear you say that. Right. I don't think it's fair for you to carry the weight alone. Why not discuss it with others first? Topaz hasn't given me much time to consider. She wants me to decide as soon as possible. I wanted to put it to a vote and let all the citizens of both the overworld and the underworld have their say. But with such little time, I'm afraid that's a lost cause. I'll convene the Klopoth Fort Architects immediately to discuss the contract. As for the locals, I'd like you to gauge their stance on the matter. The people of Belabog hold both of you in high regard. They'll most certainly be willing to tell you their thoughts. <laughs> I think we should leave this matter to the Belabogians. Don't you agree? I... Well, we've got your back. We failed to convince Topaz, but this should be a piece of cake. Thank you, March. I'll assemble the ministers. Let's meet up here again later. All right. Uh, if we want to make an informed decision, we need to hear from both the Overworld and the Underworld, right? Let's start with the Overworld. <laughs> 